So I wanted to take the time to weigh in on the gun control argument. Here recently we've had a lot of school shootings. In fact, kind of started way back when I was a freshman in high school. We started getting school shootings probably once a year. And I hear all these arguments from the left saying that we need stricter gun laws. We need to regulate guns. Uh, regulate the purchase of guns. Regulate gun sales. The truth is, those things are already regulated. You have to be a certain age before you can buy a gun. Uh, you have to have a clear criminal background. You, there's a waiting period. I, I don't own a gun personally. But I believe it's everybody's right to own a gun if they so choose. I come from a family of gun owners. As a kid, my grandpa used to take us out. Uh, we lived on a farm. My grandpa used to take us out to fire guns uh, at soda cans. Uh, so I come from a family that is that was a part of the NRA. You know, I also grew up a leftist. I grew up a uh, Democrat. I shared a lot of the liberal values and perspective on things for most of my life. I didn't become conservative until, oh, about 10 years ago. I hear all these arguments saying we have to tighten down on gun control. People shouldn't own guns. Uh, guns kill people. I couldn't disagree more. I say that because I don't believe it's about gun control. It's about people control. Let me explain. Junior high was the worst time of my life. I was bullied a lot. My family was very, the family I grew up in, my mom raised us by herself with the help of my grandparents, but we were a lower middle class family, but we went to a upper middle class school. So I got made fun of a lot because I didn't have the name brand clothes. I didn't have the name brand shoes. I had a free lunch ticket. I was overweight. And it was due to the uh, asthma medication I was on. Kids didn't see it that way. Plus, I was a little bit of a geek. If you can't tell by the Funko Pops and stuff like that. Uh, back then, being a geek was not cool at all. But I was terrorized through junior high. I would get bullied every day. I would constantly get made fun of. I would get beat up every day. Uh, on my way home from school or on my way to the library after school because I volunteered at the library helping kids little kids learn how to read and stuff on my way to the library after school this group of kids would chase after me on their bicycles spit on me beat me with sticks I am one of the kids did after after high school and all that uh, several years later did uh, reach out to me and apologize to me for everything he put me through and we're good friends now However, that doesn't change everything that I went through in junior high. I can understand where everyone's coming from. I can understand more so where the shooter is coming from. And I don't say that to sound harsh. I say that because if, if you're going to say that life needs to be respected, you need to, if you're going to say that life needs to have value, you need to show that life has value. Not just your own life, but everybody's life has value. As kids in school, we don't really do that. We make it a point to everybody's guilty of it. Everybody. Even if you're someone who has been bullied in the past. Everybody is guilty of this in one way or another. Teasing someone, making fun of them. Even little jabs, you know. Everybody's guilty of it. We don't hold life to the value that we should. People today, and they have for years, put more value on possessions than they do on life itself. Kids shoot up schools because they feel their life wasn't valued, so they aren't going to value other people's lives. And it, even if they weren't able to get a hold of guns, they'd find another way. It is very easy to make a bomb. I know, I've when I was in school and going through this, I did look it up. That's how bad it was for me. However, I had people in my life, a cup, a handful of teachers, uh, the principal, and a handful of students who were, we won't, I wouldn't actually say they were my friends. Um, they were, they were in the popular group, but they weren't bullies. Um, if I was sitting alone at lunch, they would 
invite me over to sit with them for a while. Uh, they were always nice to me. And that little thing, something so little as that, kept me from doing something completely extreme. Uh, when my principal would find out I was being bullied, he would find out. He would bring me to the office. He would talk to me. He would find out who was bullying me. And he would bring them into the office and he would put the fear of God in them. He was a great principal. He was probably one of the best principals I've ever had. And I can't tell you how much that meant to me. That somebody, somebody actually, an adult, put value into my life. Not just as a student, but as a person. If I didn't have that at that time... My life right now could have been completely different if I was even alive. Um, not saying that I would have shot up a school or blown it up or anything. You know, I, I could have killed myself. That's how bad things were for me. But looking back, I can, I can see a school shooter's point of view. They have no hope. They're tired of not having their lives valued. You know, everyone wants to place value on their own life but nobody puts value on anyone else's lives that's where the problem comes in you know uh school shooters they feel like they have nothing left they feel like they have their lives have no value at all so of course they're not going to value anyone else's life and that's when the school shootings happen or the school bombings or whatever if you want to stop school shootings place value on everybody's life Reach out to the kids that are sitting alone at school, at lunch, or on the playground, walking alone in the hallways. Don't let another day pass by to where they feel like their life doesn't have value. Because chances are, if they feel like their life doesn't have value, they're going to feel that your life doesn't have value. And that's no way to live. That's when bad things happen. Uh, to tell you a little bit more about what I went through in junior high, to give you a look into my mindset at the time, every day after school, you heard part about the library. Uh, there were other days that I didn't go to the library that I would stay after school uh, to do, get my homework done and everything. And these same bullies would chase me through the school, gang up on me, Chased me through the school and beat the living crap out of me. Um, at school dances, I would go by myself to hang out with my friends. What few friends I had or what was called friends in the little group that we had. We were all outsiders. Um, but I was more of an outsider than anyone else. It was cool to pick on me. You know, Even the ones that also got picked on, it was cool for them to pick on me too. I would get beat up regularly. Even at the school dances with teachers present, these kids would chase me. Um, there was one time the dances got held in the school gym for the most part. One time they shoved me behind this uh, big tarp that they used to separate the gym from the boys' side and the girls' side. Uh, they shoved me back there so that nobody would see, none of the teachers would see or anything. Uh, but they shoved me back there and they would just beat on me. I, I would go home in tears. You know, there was another time I liked this girl and she liked me too. But it was one of those things where she liked me but she didn't want to tell anybody that she liked me. And her ex-boyfriend found out that I liked her. And he was in the same kind of group that I was kind of in, you know. And at the school dance, which was held in the cafeteria at the time, it was a Valentine's Day dance. Every time he would pass me, he would punch me in the head. It was so bad that I got a concussion. I, at the time, I was afraid to stand up for myself. I was afraid to fight. I didn't want to get in trouble, you know. Um, but I had a concussion. I was out of school for over a week with a concussion because of it. And there was another time this... This one student on the school bus, uh, when I was sitting on the bus, he was sitting right behind me. And he would slam my head against the window when the bus driver wasn't looking. Uh, finally, I had had enough of it. He did this just about every day. 
Finally, I had enough of it. I reached back over the seat. I slammed his head into the window, and the bus driver caught me, and I'm the one that got in trouble for it. So many things that happened... I'm going to take these off. There were so many things that happened to me at that time in my life that really made me not value my own life. Therefore, I didn't value anyone else's life either. I didn't care. So if you want to end the school shootings, if you want to end school violence, period, I suggest you start putting value on your classmates' lives. If you see someone getting bullied, stand up for them. If you see someone walking alone, walk with them. If you see someone having a hard time, help them. Give their life value. Let them know that their life has value. 